So I was minding my business and scrolling through Instagram and nobody can tell Chris he did not make it because he is on the shade room right now. So the shade room posted a picture <laughs> with him and Parker saying, star of my wife and kids has a new bae. He's a YouTube star named Chris Sales who is technically still married to YouTube star Queen Nigel. And of course, everybody in the comment section are going crazy because if you follow them, you know what's going on. So I thought, let me go to the girl's Instagram and you know, I'll see what's going on. And when I go there, only to find out that on her story, she says, listen, I'm <laughs> very single, you know, and that she wishes people would stop basically pushing stuff on her. I feel like just because, you know, Queen has been living her life and doing stuff and, you know, she's been out of New York, just having a good time, basically, he wanted to, because the picture, it's clear that he was the one who took the picture of him and Parker, <laughs> which is so ridiculous. You know, I'm thinking because, you know, she's out and about doing her thing. He wanted to do something to make her feel jealous or whatever, which I don't know if it's working. I don't, the situation with them both is just so messy. Like if, if this is how marriages are, and I mean, let me not say if this is how marriages are because my marriage is amazing. This is why I feel like when you're in a marriage or a relationship, it has to be away from social media. Like you have to take time away from social media to like work on yourselves, work on each other, you know, work on the relationship, the marriage in itself together. But I'm happy that we moved on. She's doing her thing. And to me, and this is just to me personally, she seems way happier to me. She seems like in the relationship, in the marriage with Chris, it's like she was stifling as a person. Like her creativity was stifling. Her talents were stifling. And it's just like now that she's no longer in there, it's way easier on her. She has room to grow, to improve, to evolve, and space to shine and just to be herself. And why? I'm not mad at the situation with her and Clarence. So even though they say they're not dating, it looks like something to me. I don't know. I'm not saying they're dating. It just looks like they're messing around. But I'm not mad at the situation because I feel like she's been in that one situation with Chris for so long that she didn't even get time to, you know, go out and explore and meet other people and see what it's like with other people, which is why I feel like ever so often when like young people are gonna get married, people always encourage them to like try other things first before you decide that like, you know, get married, make it so serious or whatever. I guess to her, it's not, it's not nothing serious. So Parker said she's single and wish people would stop trying to speak things into existence, which I feel like to, nobody's gonna like jump into anything that they don't know about. And I feel like with everything going on with Chris and the Queen on YouTube, on social media in general, like even if you meet a guy, cause I feel like how females are, like if we meet somebody, the first thing we do is like type their name into like a social media search engine or whatever. So I feel like even if she didn't know anything about them, to begin with, like after she met him, she would have like done her research and, you know, like decided in herself that, listen, this is nothing serious. I'm just hanging out and having a good time. I need friends. I feel like people cannot have too many friends, but um, if I were to give her any advice, girl, watch out. But I'm sure she does not need it. But I just feel like this whole thing especially since Chris was the one who clearly took the picture. I just feel like the whole thing is just for Queen to see it. I haven't watched any of the videos on the Chris and Queen channel. I don't even know why it's still called Chris and Queen since it's clearly just him now. But I guess because older videos are like on there from the time they were both an item, I don't know. It's just odd because I see a lot of people saying, oh, he's been clickbaiting and whatever. I'm not interested. I don't want to find out. I like Queen and I'm subscribed to like her personal channel and there's something about her that I like. Ever so often I like people and I'm not sure what about them I like, but I like where she's going on her own because I feel like sometimes you're in a relationship or a situation and it can be so toxic where you are not growing, you're not evolving and it's like when you leave, 
that things start happening for you. And I feel like that's the case with this situation for her. You know, she's finally like growing, breathing, living just because she's no longer in the situation with Chris. But it is what it is. <laughs> that's it for this one.